um, wrong comment on. I wanted to say amazing read but it's fine. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna and this is Four Paws in a Book. I make bookish videos over here on my little corner of the internet. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. Today I have an announcement for you. <laughs> another readathon. I know, I'm crazy. I'm in the middle of one of the biggest readathons I've ever done, and here we are trying to do it again. Not anywhere close though. This is much chiller. It's time for rom com -a -thon. This is round four, I think, of rom com -a -thon. rom com -a -thon is a readathon that was created by Michelle from Michelle's Library and Aoife from Pretty Purple Polka Dots, and I have been joining them as a host for I think the past three rounds. If I remember that correctly. I don't, I don't know how to count. I should go back to school. This is a very casual chill readathon and the idea behind it is just to read rom-com books. They don't have to have smut in them, they can be closed door, they just kind of have to have that rom-com feel to it. We always try to do a theme when we do a rom-com-a-thon and so we've done, um, obviously we did Christmas, but then we also did, last time we did like rom-com movies as associated to books and today we are doing back to school. We thought that was fitting for September. rom com -a is going to be a week-long readathon that happens September 18th through the 24th. There will be random sprints on channels, we're calling them study hall, um, that just makes sense, <laughs> and it's just gonna be a, a casual good time. We do have prompts, however, the goal is really just to read rom-coms, so like, read what you want, just happy fluffy things. But we do have our six classes, um, or the tropes that you can read. We have fake dating, enemies to lovers, second chance romance, sports romance, because again, college, friends to lovers, and finally, grumpy sunshine. We do have a little bit of an added bonus here. Now you can double up, triple up, however it works for you. You can read six books for the six prompts. If you complete two of the prompts, you'll make the Dean's List. If you complete four of the prompts, then you'll make Honors. And if you get all six of the prompts, you'll make Valedictorian. We're calling this Smut University, so that's fun. Also, you'll want to check out my merch shop on September 1st. I will be launching the fall theme of my like merch line, and one of them is going to be a rom com -a -thon related. Lastly, we are once again going to have a group book. Now, we have not had good luck with our group books in the past, ever. Um, it's fine, but I'm really hopeful for this one because it is an author that we've read from before and I've heard good things about this, but we're going to be reading Teach Me by Olivia Dade. Um, this is the first book in her indie published series um, and it says their lesson plans didn't include love, but that's about to change. When Martin Krauss arrives at Rose Owens High School, she's determined to remain chilly with her new colleague. Unfriendly? Maybe. Understandable? Yes. Since a loathsome, loathsome administrator gave Rose's beloved world history class to Martin, knowing that it would hurt her. But keeping her distance from a man as warm and kind as Martin will prove challenging, even for a stubborn garden ice queen. Especially when she begins to see him for what he truly is, a man who's never been taught his own value. Martin could use a good teacher, and luckily Rose is the best. This sounds good. Plus, like, can we, can we just discuss how be beautiful she is? Hmm. Olivia Dade writes great plus size representation. I absolutely adored her spoiler alert series, so I'm really excited for this. This book is pretty accessible. I know that the audiobook and I believe the ebook is also on um, Scribd if you have that. And hopefully, this gives you enough time to borrow from the library if you need to know. So, that is pretty much the details of the readathon. It's very casual, very chill. Um, <laughs> After the amazing readathon, I do need a quiet month. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to participate in rom com -a -thon and recommend a book that would fit one of these tropes. If you're not feeling chatty, you can do an apple emoji. That is all I have for you today. If you're new here and you have not yet subscribed, there is a little button that you can do so down below the video. If you'd like to hang out with me more, the links to my Instagram, Goodreads, Twitter, and my Patreon are linked in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.